today and I am trying to show you um, some of my finishes for February 2020 and the wind is blowing so fast my quilts are falling down I just had this one fall completely off so we'll come back to that <laughs> I had asked in the Facebook group th the name of this particular pattern because I had made it and couldn't remember exactly what the name of it was this is a UFO and I started it in 2015 <laughs> I think 2015 let me go check I don't know when I actually started this one because I don't have a start date on it and when I don't have a start date I don't know I, it was just something that I saw and really really wanted to make and I use the rectangles geometric quilting on this it was a panto and whenever I use a panto I go ahead and use it twice sometimes maybe more if I use it for a customer but this quilt here is one that we did with the scrap club and I'm not going to be able to hold it up. I was trying to get T quilters to also do this pattern but I used that same panto here and it's going to fall but I'll try to get you a sideways shot maybe. The wind is really bad out today. But just wanted to show you that this is completely done and I'm going to see if I can tuck it in here to keep it out of the way of the next quilt this quilt is another scrap club project and it's called crisscross and we started this one in 2015 and i have a lot of tops that just needs to be quilted and that's where some of these projects are coming from i use the butler system on this and quilted this panto all over design and then this is my last actual finish. It's another UFO from 2006, Mystery Club. This pattern is called Rose of Piccadilly. And we started it with a quilt shop in, that was in Alton, now in Wood River, Illinois. And again, I used my Panto on my Butler system for this as well. It's the Anne Bright I love paisley and it's pretty small here i actually use the same panto in another one. but it's about eight inches here and i used about 15 inches on the previous quilt that i showed you all this panto in it was for a customer and since i'm outside video on a tutorial so if you're interested in learning how to do this jelly roll rail fence quilt I will put a link up at the eye above and you're more than welcome to go and look at that and I just thought that I would give you a little close-up of some of the fabrics they're really hard to see because geometric designs kind of videotape a little differently because they want to make your eye wander and move but I actually love it mostly yellow blacks gray tan and maybe a little bit of white but mostly um, a light tan sort of kind of but here's the quilt top again so that's it for this video just wanted to keep it under five minutes and I will see you all in my next video bye bye everybody thank you all so much for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe Share my channel with your other quilting friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye, T-Quilters. Stay blessed.